Welcome back, boys and girls. We hope you've been chewing. We sure have. Yes, we have these frugelli jelly candies, and they smell a little weird. Mm. We're gonna see what they taste like in a second. But right now, we have our second course of bite-sized Bible to get to. It's Lucy. She asked the question, are the stories in the Bible real? Uh -huh. We gotta get to it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hey, take one of these for the road. Thank you. There you go. On your mark, get set, go! Uh! Okay, so, are the stories in the Bible real? Well, the stories in the Bible are pretty wild, but what makes the Bible truly incredible, boys and girls, is that the stories inside the Bible can actually be proven. So like Noah's Ark, not just a pretty story that we tell at bedtime with koalas and giraffes, right? Oh, I mean, definitely not. As a matter of fact, when you think of a global flood, it's actually kind of terrifying. But by all accounts, it actually happened. Geological evidence shows plants and animals buried in rapid succession, as well as random bits of sediment all over the globe, large distances away from where they originate. So you know what it would explain that? A global flood. Mm, okay, so how did Noah build a giant boat how did that giant boat float? And then how did the giant boat that floats hold all of those animals? Oh, well, those are all great questions. And the team at the Creation Museum in Kentucky, they wanted to answer all those questions. So what did they do? They actually built an ark to the Bible's exact specifications, making sure to account for whether the boat would be seaworthy, how animals would eat, and even where all the poop would go. And their findings reveal an overwhelming amount of evidence that Noah's Ark is not only plausible, it's actually kind of ingenious. Okay, very cool. But is there any other evidence that we have? Well, some of the best evidence we have the Bible is true comes from other sources written around the same time. For instance, this one guy, Flavius Joseph. <laughs> Flavius? That's a terrible name. Sounds like a like an alien with a with a farting head. Well said. But something you should know about Flavius is he was not a follower of Jesus, but he did write about Jesus' life, his influence on Roman culture, and his death sentence. All right, so anyone else besides Flavius? Oh yeah, there's this other book called The Annals of Imperial Rome. Okay, I mean, that, so that sounds pretty legit. It is legit. And in it, another non-Jesus man named Tacitus writes that Jesus was executed by the governor of Judea, Pontius Pilate, for crimes against the state. And in his wake, a religious movement of his followers sprang up. I mean, that's exactly what happened in the Bible. So, are the stories in the Bible real? Yes, we can believe that they aren't just made up. Even though they're incredible and a little mind-blowing, they actually happened in history. Mm -hmm. And mm. scent. Whew. Nice. That was really good. Thanks. Speaking of good, would you like another uh, frugelli? Mm. Ooh, not really. Okay. Guess that means more for me. Speaking of more, we got more zone post questions. This one comes from Bryce. And Bryce says, mm. What if we can't prove that the Bible is actually real? Ooh, that is fantastic, Bryce. And we're gonna answer that question right after we chew on, on this. this. 